Hello everybody, Robert Anthony here from Mac Cuts Plus. I wanted to share with you how you can add some amazing new functionality to Quick Look inside of OS X. If you're not familiar with Quick Look, then prepare to be wowed. Like the name suggests, Quick Look is a feature in OS X that will let you take a quick look at documents right inside of Finder, Finder being the main user interface. On other operating systems, if you wanted to take a look at a file, you would typically double click it and open it in its associated program in this case text edit for this plain text file. This isn't a very intuitive way to access a file if you're just wanting to take a quick peek at it. And if you don't have the program that was used to create the file, well then you can't open it and see it. OS X, however, has a feature called Quick Look. Quick Look will display a file without actually launching the application that was used to create it. By simply selecting a file and hitting the space bar, you can preview the file inside of Quick Look. Again, for this plain text file, Quick Look will display the text without actually opening TextEdit. And the interface of Quick Look will actually vary depending on what kind of file you're previewing. If I use Quick Look on this Pages file, which is Apple's word processing app, it will give me a sidebar with thumbnails that I click through. Quick Look will also display pictures and play video files. And if you select multiple files, Quick Look is smart enough to give you some navigation controls here at the bottom. An absolutely awesome feature of Quick Look is that it can actually display files even if you don't have the application installed that's used to create it. If I open the spreadsheet file, it will open up in TextEdit because I don't have any associated program installed. But if I use Quick Look, it will actually let me preview the contents of this spreadsheet. Quick Look is an amazing feature as is, but you can actually add extra functionality with plugins. I have here two files that normally don't have any Quick Look support. The first is a zip file, and the second is an Adobe Photoshop brush library file. As you can see, using Quick Look right now will just give me a bigger icon, which isn't the most helpful. But I've downloaded two Quick Look plugins from a website appropriately called quicklookplugins.com. Let's install and activate them and see how they work. To install them, you simply go to Macintosh hard drive, library, Quick Look, and then you drag them into the folder. Then to activate them, we need to relaunch Finder by going to Apple, Force Quit, select Finder, then click Relaunch. First, let's check out the Photoshop brush library file. If we click on the file now, Quick Look will give you a grid of brush shapes and the pixel dimensions, saving a designer from having to open up Photoshop, load the brush file, then finally see what kind of shapes there are. That's pretty cool, but now if we use Quick Look on the zip file, check that out. We can see the files and the folders inside of the zip file without having to unzip it. You can even navigate through the folders and you have a preferences dropdown. That's pretty awesome. With plugins, you can turn Quick Look into almost a mini application for different file formats. There are dozens of free Quick Look plugins available, as well as paid plugins that give you even more features and capability within Quick Look. I think you'll agree that Apple's hit a home run with this feature. Go check out quicklookplugins.com or do an online search to see what you can find. Obviously, use good judgment and common sense when you're downloading and installing files. This is Robert Anthony for MacTuts Plus on adding extra functionality with Quick Look plugins. Thanks for watching.